Location data is the new economy's gold. But this data is also extremely personal and very difficult to protect. The proliferation of devices able to use global navigation satellite system signals has been fundamental to the growth in location data. New location techniques further enhance tracking precision. Exploiting Wi-Fi network location data is perhaps the most important of these. Increasingly, exploitation of video feeds or audio signals will allow even more ubiquitous and precise tracking capability. The exploitation of sensor data can also reveal how the smartphone owner is moving. This capability is nearly mature, reliable in some tests, and will likely become more so as new devices combine sensors with on-chip processors. And protecting this data by anonymization is difficult because it remains unique even at higher levels of aggregation or lower levels of granularity. Consider a city like Chicago. Like almost all cities, it is serviced by a network of cellular communication towers that enable seamless mobile use. These masts delineate mobile service cells that are used to handle phone calls without disconnecting. Because of this, they also can be used to locate phones within their perimeter at a scale of a few dozen to a few hundred meters. Let's take an individual that can be precisely located by their smartphone sensors as they move through the city. They are going about their business, but their smartphone is also going about its business, broadcasting data to Wi-Fi networks as it tries to connect to known networks, storing time-stamped geolocation data used in the navigation app, sending out precise location fixes as the user updates their profile on Facebook or, or tags a new restaurant in Foursquare. In the end, we have a very precise track of that person's movement here in red, as well as a more anonymous trace of the same movement as recorded by the phone's presence in different cells. There are hundreds of other phones that are also present in those cells at the same times, and so this may serve as a reasonable basis for anonymizing that data. But it isn't. Location data anonymized by clustering at the level of mobile telecom cells can be re-identified in 95% of the cases with only four external data points using, for instance, Facebook or Foursquare check-ins, previously joined Wi-Fi networks, or data from credit card transactions. These re-identification efforts are not trivial, but they're not difficult and underscore the difficulty in protecting personal location data. To be clear, data fusion allows the generation of new knowledge and spurs innovation, but the privacy risks are real and are not well addressed by authorities.